rebel canners teaching all kinds of food preservation, especially the old ways. <laughs> we all can use a little bit more of the old ways these days. Hey, be sure you're subscribed because sometimes YouTube does some funny things with that. And be sure to hit the like button on your way out. Thanks. Welcome back, Rebel Canners. Today is a nice little winter video. It's a Christmas time video. <coughs> Excuse me there. And I had the opportunity to go to visit Greenville, Michigan today. And I stopped at this wonderful little restaurant, family restaurant, family diner, um, called Margo's. And I'm gonna take you with me. And if you are ever in Greenville, Michigan, this place is definitely four stars, uh, definitely a locals place. And I really had a chance to, uh, meet a few of the locals and talk with them and it was a really cute little place. I didn't get to take a lot of video inside but I did take some pictures to show with you, share with you. And um, Margo's is just so much fun. One of the re locals recommended it and she said the locals take their playing cards or you know they go there get their coffee and they plan on waiting a while. Um, service takes a little while but it's definitely worth it. And boy, was she right. She recommended the stuffed French toast, strawberry st stuffed French toast. Just see, that's what I got. I could only eat a half order. It was huge. It's only like $7.99 for the whole thing. Came with a side of sausage. Excellent, excellent. Becca's omelet was excellent. Everything was excellent. Service was excellent. Family style. Definitely the place where locals stop. So if you ever have a little time and you're in Greenville, Michigan, stop by Margo's. Take a look. And this little town of Greenville, Michigan. Somebody asked me, what town is the most like Stars Holler in Gilmore Girls? And if I had to name a town in Michigan, I think I would pick Greenville, Michigan. Look at all the little Christmas trees. They've got the town decorated, cute, just old fashioned. So many nice little shops and boutiques and antique way. stores and I've been into their florist it's amazing uh, definitely check it out but today we're going to be eating at Margo's and just cute little you can tell it's been here for a little while kind of place had to get a picture of the ceiling there it's got the old tin ceiling it's kind of one of those where you walk in and it's very narrow. They had it decorated for Christmas. It was adorable. Gingerbread houses and up on the wall they have a cookie jar collection. It was just phenomenal. Um, but you know it's a good place to eat because local law enforcement were having their breakfast there too. So that's always a good recommendation. You know it's a good place. And Becca and I definitely had smiles on our faces while we were waiting for our food. It was just, it was so much fun. There's about five or six chairs there along the little bar where you can sit and eat or you can get a table or a booth. You know the coffee's going to be good when the placemats look like this, right? This was my strawberry stuffed 
French toast. It was so good and so filling. And it was a huge portion. That is a large plate. That's not one of those skinny little plates they've shrunk down. That is a full dinner plate size plate, diner dinner plate size plate. And it was just gorgeous. The strawberries were beautiful. It came with a side of sausage and it was, oh, four stars. Good. Glad the receptionist at the doctor's office recommended this place. And as you can see, I could only eat half of my breakfast. It was about 11 o'clock brunch, I guess really was what it was, but it was wonderful and definitely a place that I'm going to go back for breakfast again if I'm ever in the area. If you like this video, please check out this new playlist I'm doing this winter when canning's a little bit uh, short in supply. I'm going to do an Eating Across Michigan showing you some of the best kept secrets we have for places to eat in little towns in Michigan. Thanks Rebel Canner. If you want to see more of this type of content, please be sure to hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, please be sure to subscribe so that you will always get notified of my other videos. Thank you.